The Mobile M exhibition takes art to the streets. So does another group of artists, although not everyone sees what they do as art. As part of the French May Festival, four graffiti artists from France exhibited their work in Hong Kong. We spoke to two of them. I'm from Paris and uh, I start graffiti in uh, 80 when uh, the hip hop, hip -hop come in, uh, in Europe and when I was a kid I was really shy. When I meet the, the hip hop and especially the graffiti I can express myself and okay Cyril is my real name, he's a really shy guy but Congo can explain his art all over the world and over the street and I'm really enjoyed uh, like the, to live like that, you know. Congo's works are currently on display at the One Love Sprayed Hong Kong exhibition at the Landmark in Central. The pop-up exhibition, mounted in a vacant store in the basement, is something of an experiment for the shopping mall. In the U.S., the... in the... The U.S. The, the graffiti is coming out around the 70s, and then painting this, the, the boys from the ghetto painting on the train because they need to express themselves. In France, it was a little bit different, and and right now it's totally different because we 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 start to interest the art market, and right now the graffiti artists paint a lot of canvas, again a lot of show, and have the. We have a lot of collaboration with the with uh, different company. Congo, now 42, born to a Vietnamese father and a French mother, was a refugee of the Vietnam War. He moved to Paris at six, living in a depressed area with his grandparents, the only Asian in the community. He countered his sense of being an outsider with graffiti, through which he could create and express himself using marker pens and spray paints. It's unlikely that anyone in his neighborhood could foresee that one day his artwork and signature would appear on the scarves of a luxury French brand and become known throughout the world. Also featured in this exhibition is another French graffiti artist, Sit Fouad, a friend of Congo since 1987. Seat's graffiti have also been adopted by luxury and sports brands. He says graffiti is more than just a form of self-expression. Before I was write, writing only my name. Now I'm, I'm writing my name in a different way. When, when I'm doing my canvases on my wall, I'm trying to, uh, to uh, uh, express it in a different way. I try to play with the, the people. The people who watch my, who see my canvases on my wall, I, I'm trying to let them imagine what they want, you know, but actually I'm playing only with the letters, so usually I'm doing like very abstract uh, graffiti and because I, I, it's like uh, uh, giving a, 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 a strong feeling and strong movement on my canvases. And I like when uh, people they told me, oh, you draw a character, yeah. No, I was drawing it later, but I let the people imagine what they want. And for me, it's very interesting because it's the best, the best way to communi communicate with, uh, with someone who, who understand or don't understand my work. Originally from Toulouse, Seat has lived in Hong Kong for three years. Before that, he spent ten years studying painting and sculpture in China. He says both places have inspired him and he'd like to have more cultural exchanges with Chinese people in the region. I try to change the mind of the people who are thinking that the graffiti is very illegal or very uh, uh, aggressive. And we are trying to change the mentality. We paint graffiti but in the, in the dirty place where the building already they're going to be destroyed. So actually we are painting in the place that we don't make it any trouble, you know. While he has enjoyed his time in Hong Kong, Seat does feel the city needs to cultivate its graffiti culture. In Hong Kong they have design culture and graffiti not yet, it's coming step by step. In Europe it's already strong, strong culture. But in Hong Kong most of the people they don't understand, they are thinking that we we just here to destroy. Of course not, we are just here to, 
to make a different way of decoration of the in the street, you know. So we, it's just a different point of view. We'll be back after the break. See you then.